All right, so let's practice a little bit more with objective two, being able to write equation of a parabola in standard form. Um, remember, we've got, we've got two different kinds, one with a vertical directrix, one with a horizontal directrix. Which one's which? Oh, so confusing. I got an idea. We could always use that awesome and spectacular flow chart. There we go. So exercise six here. Find the equation of the parabola in standard form with its vertex at the origin and focus at 0, 3. Again, a sketch would be tremendously helpful. So origin, there we go, 0, 0. And my focus is at 3, 0. That's over here. So un, deux, trois. there's my focus. And uh, I know that my parabola has to wrap around the focus like so. This way and this way. Okay, so since it's opening to the right, I know that I have to have a y squared in there, right? And whenever the vertex is at the origin, it's just, uh, well, zero, zero is in there for hk. Simplifies to y squared is equal to 4px. So I'm going to use this coordinate here at 3, 0 to find my p. Well, p, focal length, this is a distance from the vertex to the focus. So how big is this from here to here? I think it's 3. So I'm going to take my 3, set that equal to p, put into this equation, y squared equals 4 times 3x. y squared equals 12x. And I leave it like that. I don't solve it for x or whatever. I just leave it like that. That's the equation in standard form when we're talking about uh, conic sections. Let's try another one of those. This time, not at the origin. We're not playing now. So uh, equation of the parabola in standard form. Vertex this time is at 3, 2. Focus is at 1, 2. What should I do first? What? Oh, draw a picture? OK. Go ahead and do that. I'll sketch a picture. That's a good idea. Sketch a picture here. And uh, what do we got? 3, 2 for the vertex. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Here we go. And the focus is at 1, 2. 1, 2, right there. So the, uh, the parabola has to wrap around the focus. So it's going to go like this and like this some kind of way. This one is opening to the left. It's still a y squared, though. So uh, I can't use the simplified version because I have an actual vertex. i got an h and a k right there. So this is a y minus k. Make sure the k goes with the y. That squared is equal to 4p x minus h. So my h and my k are 3 and 2. Make sure they get paired up with the correct numbers. Just I'm not just going to put them in order. The 3 goes with the H, and the 2 goes with the K. And they lie to you, so I keep those negative signs. Y minus 2 squared is equal to 4P times X minus 3. Not squared. Uh, the last thing I need is my focal length. I need my P. So get that from this drawing here. That this point is 1, and this point here is 3. The distance between that is 2. Here's the thing, though. It's opening to the left, so this can't be a 2. This actually has to be a, a negative 2. It's opening towards the left instead of the right. So negative 2 is my p value. All right. So now rewrite that with the negative 2 in the place for p. y minus 2 squared equals 4 times negative 2 times x minus 3. And the only part I simplify here is this 4 times negative 2. I leave everything else in parentheses. y minus 2 squared is equal to negative 8 times x minus 3. And that's where I stop. OK. Now I'm going to call your attention to something real quick. And that is. The fact that the y coordinates on these, that's a 2, and that's a 2, those y coordinates were the same. And the vertex and the focus are on, I'll draw right in here for you. What line is that? Eh, eh, missed that up a little bit. Oh, half my parabola disappeared. 
there we go, mm, kind of. Anyway, that's the axis of symmetry, so AOS. These two Y coordinates are the same, and when they are the same, that must be a horizontal line. The axis of symmetry is horizontal. And it splits that parabola in half, so it must be opening to the right or to the left, in this case to the left. Okay, so that's what this pro tip is about here. So if I look at the focus and the uh, vertex, if I'm given those two coordinates and I'm trying to decide if this thing is going to open left, right, up, down, let's take a look, see which ones are the same, right? Because those have to be on the axis of symmetry is going to make either the horizontal line or a vertical line. Let's take a look at these two points. I got 3, 2 for the vertex and 3, 5 for the focus. My x coordinates are the same. When my x coordinates are the same, those must be on a vertical line. That's the axis of symmetry is vertical. So your parabola has to open either upwards or downwards. It's upwards in this case. Okay. Let's look at the second part of that. And that's, oh, this time my y coordinates are the same for my vertex at 3, 2, and focus at 5, 2. My y coordinates are the same. Y coordinates are the same. That must be on a horizontal line. My axis of symmetry is horizontal. Horizontal means that it's going to be a y squared instead of an x squared. So it's going to open to the right or to the left. Okay, so those are some of the things that you're looking at whenever you just have the, the points, the coordinates, and you're trying to come up with an equation all by your lonesome. Okay, now this time, uh, instead of having points, maybe actually uh, I'm just looking at the equations, right? Just looking at the equation, I don't have any points, and I'm trying to decide uh, how, how am I supposed to decide if these are even parabolas? These are in general form. I don't think that's on here, so I'm going to write it. It's not standard form, it's general form. All these forms. And uh, so that just means that it's all expanded out and set equal to zero. So if I just look at those two equations, how am I supposed to tell, number one, that they're parabolas? And then number two, how are you supposed to tell if this thing is opening like up, up, down, or right, left? Do you, you like how I did that? I went up, down, right, left. Anyway, so let's look at the first one. Notice that the first one has an x squared in it. It has an x squared and just an x squared. This means it's going to be a parabola. It's quadratic with just one quadratic, like an x squared. And from our polynomial graphing rules, uh, from Fundamental Theorem of Algebra, you remember this. That means that there's got to be two solutions on the x-axis, two zeros on the x-axis. And so your graph is going to look something like this. It's got to hit the x-axis at two places. This means that it must open upwards, or, of course, you could flip that graph upside down and it opens downwards. Look at the second one. The second one also just has a y-squared in it. Not a y-squared and an x-squared, just a y-squared. And since it's a y-squared, it has a power of 2, it's quadratic, it must have two zeros on the y-axis this time. On the y-axis this time. Let's drop the pencil. Uh, so then your graph is going to look like this. It's going to open to the right, like this one, two, uh, two zeros on the y-axis, two y-intercepts. Or it could flip over and open up to the left. So if I look at those kind of things, just looking at the equation, I should be able to tell if it's a parabola, and if it opens right, left, or up, down. So putting those things together, I just have the equation. I want to be able to find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix, all that stuff for this parabola. Okay, I could do that pretty easily if it was in standard form. To get it into standard form, when it's in general form, well, if you just look at your flowchart for a second, just pause, maybe look at the flowchart. Remember this thing, this is an x squared, so it's got to look like this. It's a x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. This is from completing the square. It's a perfect square trinomial whenever you expand this thing out. So this comes from completing the square. That's what we're going to do. We're going to complete the square on the x's left side of the equation, get everything else on the right side of the equation, okay? So that's, that's what we're going to do. So these two are going to stay where they're at, x squared minus 10x, get the minus 8y and the 17 over to the other side. So let's try that. 
x squared minus 10x plus a blank is equal to, I'm now I'm going to add these two things over here, so 8y minus 17 plus a blank. Remember, completing the square, if I add something to the left, balance it out by adding something to the right. So uh, the number that completes the square on the left-hand side, you take half the negative 10, which is negative 5, negative 5, and then you square that number up and you get 25. Add 25 to the left, let's add it to the right, 25. So on the left-hand side, this becomes x minus 5 squared is equal to, right-hand side, whenever I clean this up, I get 8y minus... Let's see, 17, is it minus 8? No, plus 8. Plus 8. Okay, and these have a common factor of 8, so I'm going to pull that thing out. So x minus 5 squared equals 8 times y plus 1. Here's my equation in standard form, so it's in standard. I started out in general, I just put it in standard form. From that form, we should be able to identify all the parts that we need. So it's vertex, hk, vertex. We got a 5 with the x, so 5, comma, and then the y has a plus 1. It's lying to you, so change the sign on it, minus 1. Okay, so far? Um, now, I, I also need the focus and the directrix. In order to get the focus, I need the focal length. I need my p-value. So if I look at what's in front of the parentheses on the y minus k, that's, that's 4 times the focal length. That's this 8 that's right here. So in other words, I'll switch colors so not everything's the same color. How about red? 4p has got to be equal to that 8, which means our focal length is 2. Okay, so just let's think about this for a second. Maybe uh, draw ourselves a, a tiny little sketch here of what's going on so I know what coordinate to add that to in order to find um, my focus. I've got 5, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1 right here. Here's the a vertex. And this is an x squared. x squared is going to open upwards just like we're used to seeing. So opening upwards like so. Now we're going to get a better looking graph in objective three when we graph these things. But right now that's, that little sketch is fine. Okay, so now the focus is two higher than that. Go up one, go up one more, it's here. So I'm adding the two to my y coordinate. So plus two, my focus is at five, one. Right, I just went up one. Okay, so now I need to go down one, two, for my directrix line. And this is an a, a y equals, since it's a horizontal line, so y equals, and I went down two more from this, a so y equals negative three. So here's all the stuff about that equation gotten from the general form. All right, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you take this. I'm gonna let you do number nine, same kind of way what I just did on the previous one. Take that general form, complete the square on it, put it into standard form so you can identify the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. Go. Oh, pause it. Don't forget. Pause it. All right. Let's see if you did it correctly, shall we? So uh, you should have completed the square on the y since you have a y squared. Since I have a y squared and no x squared, I know that this has got to be a parabola. Since it's y squared, I know this is going to open to the right or to the left because it has uh, two places where it'll touch the x -axis, uh, the y-axis. Okay, now uh, when I complete the square on the y's, over here I'm gonna leave the y squared and the 6y on the left side and get the x and the 7 over there on the other side. Complete the square, take half of it's 3 squared, I get 9, add that to both sides. Um, and when I clean it up, I gotta factor out the common factor of 2. Remember, both of these things lie to you, so you have to change the sign when you're coming up with the vertex. And also be careful, it's the 1, or actually negative 1, that's going with the x. That's our h. And then the 3's with the y coordinate, that's our k. So 
negative 1, negative 3 is the coordinate of the vertex. For my focus, I made a little sketch. Um, 4p is equal to the 2 that's out front here. So dividing by 4, you get a focal length of a half this small. Okay, so with my little sketch, I can see that I needed it to move to the right a half, so I'm adding that to my x coordinate. Negative 1 plus a half is negative a half. Y coordinate stays the same. And my directrix, instead of adding a half, I'm going to subtract a half, half from the vertex, and now it's at negative 3 halves, or negative 1.5 if you prefer. Okay, uh, in the next objective, you see this little sketch over here? We're going to clean that sketch up. We're going to make our graphs look a little neater than that, all right? Okay.